I'm holding my judgment as to how important it is, but it should be mentioned regardless. Arteezy has this brand new Ricky set that just came out the other day. We have a disruption, but Arteezy's done a good job of blocking. 14.37 gets off a cask, actually bounces to the illusion, which is really unfortunate. Looks to be first blood going the way of 4 ASC. Good start, good job coming out from Zeus. Fear. <laughs> Yeah, now Volix is doing what he needs to do. He gets in a position on the mid lane where he can just stand Pop. and bully fear away. Yep. Pop. I'm sure the smoke screen is going to come out eventually. There it goes. No ultimate for Arteezy, obviously. 1437 does go down, but he does get a stun off on the Shadow Doom, which ends up being a kill. Uh, it's just a matter of time. I think he might not live. Oh. No. But in the meantime, Zai picks up a haste. Going to use his call. Berserker's called that. It doesn't have his ultimate. Lone Druid uses his ultimate, but it's just not nearly enough. Uh, could be a problem. I mean, he already is. He's basically grammar. Bottom lane, disruption, no soul catcher, and actually gets rooted by the bear. He's gonna go down one way or another, and he does. Jerax, in the meantime, taking considerable amount of damage. Axe dunk. is level six. He can just dunk him right now, right now, right now. Go, 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 go. Okay, Jerax, don't, don't die to the witch doctor. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's gonna die to the tower now. Okay, he's gonna die to the tower. <laughs> From across the map. Meantime, top Contract. rune area. This is oh. top bottom rune area. They're gonna go on laundry. <laughs> <He does. laughs> He gets called, Universe getting a max stun off. It's not going to be nearly enough damage to take out Lone Druid, though, and this is going to cause EG to fall back. Zai, half HP. The question is, does Trixie and company have enough damage? And yes, pure damage. So good against Strength Heroes in particular. He's well, he's been showcased a lot more, though. He's been picked in some games, especially no, TMD. still not much, though. Especially VG Gaming have been running it quite a few times. Oh, Arteezy is going to try on Jerax. That's the a long range concoction. Oh, concoction's gonna hit two. Jerax in quite a bit of trouble. Arteezy has a blink strike. Not trying. Okay, he died. <laughs> Good neutral denial coming out from Jerax. That's gonna be one of the compendium points coming out. Random sentry ward here for Arteezy. Takes a stun. Should be out of range. Unless they have more detection to follow. Doesn't look to be the case. Okay, I stand I corrected. Easy kill coming out like because of the dust being carried. Continuing to harass as much as he can. He's very close to level 11. In fact, this next creep will give him just that. And. It looks to be definitely a refresher, by the way. He has the mana, or the Void Stone, I should say. Arteezy, looking for perhaps a kill or a denial, if nothing else. Viper, well, nothing really coming to this. 1437 gets the stun off. Arteezy at half HP thanks to Viper Strike. The mech is going to ensure that Viper lives. He takes out Arteezy really easily. Disruption, Soul Catcher, ult from Timbersaw. Look at this damage coming through, and boom! And then you've got the important heroes at farm on. Ricky has 34 CS in a 16 minute game. Has really been shut down nicely. And because of that, isn't really. Oh, oh bottom lane like initiation. Zai catches him. And Witch Doctor with the ult. Half HP, just like that. A nice disruption coming out from Shadow Demon. That might actually go down to the Witch Doctor ult. Not quite enough. The Cully Blade, still not enough to take him out. But finally, Lone Druid will die in that Lone Druid form. And with that, you should form. be happy with that. True form. I keep saying Lone Druid, whatever. It, it is Lone oh, Druid's top form. Lane. Okay. Yeah, top They're lane. gonna try again. Smoke screen. Viper has the mech, so to stay alive a little bit longer. Pops it right at the last second. I think the TP is going into the tier three. That's in a refresher. The form of 1437 disruption into Soul Catcher. Oh my God! That burst damage, son. Holy jeez. Ricky's here. There we see the ultimate. Is Zeus? Yes, he has the refresher. He uses it from base, in fact. The kill's gonna be on Shadow Demon. Arteezy at half HP, attempting to run away. Trixie's gonna get caught out. Don't think he's gonna get out of this one. In fact, the stun. Man, Zai cannot get a calling blade to save his life. Like, and it's the whole time he could just be sneaking up on any of your supports and soloing them. Kind of the same threat as when you're playing against a Clinks with Orchid. Oh, Jerax is gonna get caught by Zai. I don't know if Zai wants to take this fight. He well, wants the calling. He oh, he doesn't get it, man. Zai, you really disappointed me. One for one trade. Universe taking the crits from Wraith King. And it's a two for one, and all they lost was a Shadow Demon. Arteezy stuck in the trees down here. He does have. <laughs> oh, top lane. Fear is shown here. Jerax gets the disruption and the Soul Catcher. And Timbersaw ult. Wow, look at that burst damage. He does get the kill on Shadow Demon, so it ends up being a trade. But not Bottom the thing you want if you're Zeus this lane. Bottom lane. Zai. Can he get the ultimate? Calling Boom. I'm calling Boom. I'm nope. Mech coming up. Cooldown. There is going to be a trade, but it is only an ultimate for Wraith King, so not even he dies. I think he's going to die, though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awesome teleportation attempt. And three dead, just like that for a 4 ASC. I believe that was a buyback from Fear, if I'm not mistaken. It was. And uh, it's going to be four. Arteezy lived to see another so, day. If EG win the fight, there's a bit of rubber band. Oh, oh they're going to go on Trixie. Trixie, concoction of follies at half HP. Death Ward even being used. It looks like they'll get the kill. The calling boom, finally, but only a 20 second cooldown or timer on the death for that Timbersaw. Trixie. 
I'm sorry, the Viper taking so much damage, but Arteezy blinks out, but he will fall to the Radiance, so the right click even fear trying to run away. This bear is decimating EG, the buyback from Arteezy. Question is, does Borea C want to back up? Concoction's gonna connect on Lone Druid. Aegis, who actually had the Aegis? He dies. Oh, that's right, Viper had the Aegis and he's used, so these buybacks are actually coming to fruition for EG. They clean up, two kills. A big part of Lone Druid's damage output right now is magical. There's a Radiance, there's a Maelstrom. Oh, Sai's gonna go in. Oh, could it be a calling? Boom, and it is! He gets one kill right off the bat. The Witch Doctor ult to fall. Not gonna do a ton of damage, but he does have his ultimate to fall back on. Arteezy looking for the kill. He gets the smoke screen off, and here comes Zai again with a beautiful initiation. Another calling boom. Trixie trying to run away with that BKB. Finally, they get a kill on Axe. Arteezy though, wrong place at the wrong time. Does he have a buyback? Doesn't look to be the case. And 4ASC continues the aggression. Boogie, stunning 1437. Easy kills on the way of them. Universe, finally you're getting off an ultimate, but it, how much is this really going to do? He gets off two, and his job is done, I suppose, as he falls to the ground. So two buybacks from EG. 4ASC on the run. Boogie does not have the ultimate, so you better be careful. Universe, popping the ultimate, he's got a lot of regen. They're going to lose Double that. damage on Viper. Right. They're bear at half HP, but they do have a resummon. Be no problem for Frey SC. Fortifications used. Here comes the initiation. It's only on one. Can they actually get this before the mech comes off? Doesn't look like it. Pipe, nice disruption. Pipe goes off on everybody for Frey SC. So I mean, perhaps this is why Zeus in the original oh, fight didn't actually pop everything. 1437 Stop. goes down. Range Rax is dead. They actually pop a casual dust just in case Arteezy's in the vicinity, but he's walking back to base with the soul capture applied. And Viper Strike applied to fear. He takes a stun to the face. Here comes Zion. Nice defensive measure. He's gonna die for his insolence, however. And Wraith Kane's the only thing used here was his ultimate. So this is gonna be a free Rax. Look for 4AC to, in all likelihood... Well, they could actually continue. They don't have initiation with the Axe. Zeus's ultimate was... Was that... The, I guess it was used. But Refresher is up in 10, so technically speaking, he could have another ultimate. Uh, they Trying to take out the bear, bear with all their might. They finally get it. Resummon is down. The they have to so chase now. This is the best back. chance they're gonna get for a while, but Arteezy is so low. It's gonna hit two again! Unbelievable! Can they actually follow this up with anything? The stun though on Arteezy, and that's gonna be another kill going away for us. So, despite us thinking they could go back in, it's not looking like that was a good choice here. Wow, okay. They used by Zai. As this tower is at less than half HP, Viper doesn't care about anything, has the Aegis. That is a really fast tower kill. And the aggression continues. Zai getting caught out at half HP. God, this Timbersaw does so much damage to him. A nice Witch Doctor ult from the trees is actually going to help get Viper quite low. There goes Zeus. And a smiley face to boot from Jerax here. Popping Refresher. Not a whole lot you can do, however. He gets everything off and then dies shortly after. Wraith King with his ultimate comes back to life. And Viper with the Aegis. GG's. Or ASC. Pretty dominating. In fact, I mean, okay. EG did pick some trolly heroes, but it made, made sense to some degree. It wasn't like complete troll, right? I Please. think their lineup could have definitely worked. I think they just got outplayed. And as far as the strategy went from 4 ASC in the in the mid game, especially the Lone Druid last pick was almost impossible to deal with for EG. 